out after this. Bring it up, bring it up. Hey, hey, way to compete. Hey, way to compete. Way to compete, man. Let's finish again. Let's finish the day off. Let's finish the day off, man. Way to compete, rookies. Welcome to the team, man. Let's go, baby. Compete on three. One, two, three.
microphone? I love being an eagle. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Anais, how do you feel about being on the set of Inside the NFL? It's turnt. That's all you got to say? It's lit. Anyways, let's go find somebody more entertaining than an ice man. So I'm not entertaining. <laughs> Where was that when the microphone was in your face? Lakin, how does it feel? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We got, we got to get Lakin. How does it feel playing football for the first time? Uh, it feels magnificent and significant and extravagant. <laughs> That's a lot of big words. <laughs> what's, the, what's the biggest difference between rugby and football? Uh, America. You heard it here first, the biggest difference <laughs> America. Shout out America, man. What's up, y'all? We are NFL Films, having a great time. Loving the place, man. Tell me how much this camera is while I'm on it. $75. You know what? $1,000? Oh, that's how much you want to do. Oh, that's how much you want to do. I don't want to mess up no settings, so let me get away from that. Oh, I'm cool. From night. This is before I was even thought of. Really good question. So, actually, so this crew. Too many buttons, not really like it, man. <laughs> Act like y'all like each other. <laughs> there you go, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> do something like this for real, like be a bro uh, sports broadcaster. Like to be Ryan Clark. No, yeah. no! When you lay on your pillow at night, just know I can't get everything. <laughs> So, uh, what's it like uh, catching passes, taking handoffs from Jalen Hurts? I mean, has that kind of sunk in yet? Um, yeah, that's pretty loud. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, you know, I've always admired his game from afar, um, not just Jalen, a whole bunch of guys here. So it's been fun to, you know, learn the system, get in the, get in the weight room with these guys, get in the field with these guys, especially Jalen, um, and continue to build something. The last time we talked to you, it was still kind of weird, I think, that you were here for yourself, uh, being with the, the division rival before that. Has it kind of 
faded a little bit? Does it feel like home at this point? Uh, yeah, it's definitely faded. Uh, I don't think it felt weird because of, you know, being with, obviously I was with the Giants before, being with the Eagles, just I was at one place for six years and put on one jersey for six years. and uh, But it, it was fun. It's like a fresh start. I feel like a rookie again, uh, you know, getting to know everybody in here, uh, learning the culture, binding to the culture. Um, and like you said, feeling like it's home. Um, finally got to a spot, uh, and, you know, I've just been loving it. What is, what what is, is the culture what is, that uh, Nick is – that you're seeing that Nick wants to see. Um, the culture here is, you know, a lot of guys, not a lot of guys, every guy coming in, buying in, working hard, pushing each other, building, um, you know, that teamwork, that mindset in the weight room and then on the field and also outside, just hanging out with guys, golfing with guys, grabbing food with guys, getting to know each other. Uh, that's definitely important for me. It's important for the team, but especially for me because I'm the new guy or not so much. I guess the rookies are the new guys now. Uh, but that's kind of been the culture, um, creating a culture where we can – uh, go out the field, depend on each other, and go out there and try to win as many games as we can. Do you, you feel like, you can, you feel like this offense, what has struck you the most about this offense as you finally gotten out there in football? Um, I mean, for me, like I said, it's new. Um, just going out there, trying to learn the system. Um, biggest thing, you know, that struck me is you, our first 707 huddle. Uh, you see A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. Dallas Goddard and Jalen Hurts. Um, it's not a it's not a bad group uh, to be out there with, and that's not even including offensive linemen. But um, yeah, you know we're all just coming in, buying in, trying to learn the playbook, trying to learn the system, and uh, trying to get better each day. You find yourself thinking what's possible when you see guys like that in the huddle. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, you, you know, there's a lot of talent. There's a lot of talent before I got here. Um, I feel like you know I only can add to that, but at the same time you can't look too far, uh, and that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of coming in every single day, um, working with each other, pushing each other. Um, that's only gonna make you know when the regular season get here and camp get here that much easier. Do you feel like you can be a Do you feel like you can be a leader in your first year, and is that something you want to put forward? You were obviously one with the Giants, but you're new here. Uh, yeah, uh, that that doesn't you know me being new here doesn't bother me. Um, I believe that I'm a leader. I believe, uh, you know, just I don't believe I know it's my seventh year going to NFL. Uh, obviously, there's a whole bunch of leaders here already, which is great when you have that many leaders in the room, and I feel like I only can add to that. What kinds of things have you been doing off the field to get to know your teammates on a different level? Catching up, getting dinner, and golfing. Uh, that's kind of been, you know, I'll probably say the biggest thing is golfing, um, which I love to do anyway. We're not going up. What brought you to the PGA? Uh, it was fun. I got to go inside the ropes, uh, you know, see Tiger play, um, and I did some work with Team Mobile. Who do you go golfing? Uh, been golfing with a lot of guys. Golf with uh, old linemen, but mostly I'll say my my golf buddy right now is Will Greer um, and, and Kenny Pickett. Uh, Kenny just picking it up. Um, shout out to Kenny. He broke a hundred uh, for the first time. He just started like two or three months ago. Uh, so that's a big accomplishment, but um, yeah, those two, you know, we're kind of, kind of golf fiends right now. Is golf a big part of your life? I guess so. Yeah, as of right now, um, you know, still moving out of New Jersey, I don't have to go home to my family and, and run around with my kids. So I got a lot more time on my hands and trying to get pretty good at golf when I'm not working on football. I know you're very competitive. Have you heard how good Jake is at golf? Yeah, great? I heard how I, I heard. I haven't played with Jake yet. Um, I, I'm nowhere near on that level. Um, but the beauty with golf, like you said, being competitive, uh, there's handicaps. There's, there's handicaps for a reason. So uh, if I ever do play with Jake, um, you know, we can get a little match going, and I'll make sure I get my strokes. The team sent out a, a video in the all-season workout program of you and Jalen doing the squats, and it looked like a pretty friendly competition. I think Jake Elliott was right behind you guys. Um, who won that competition? Um, I don't think it was competition. Uh, you know, like I said, that's the, the thing I love being here. You come in, you buy into the culture. Um, I haven't been squatting like that for a long time, but it's, it's amazing when you have your quarterback doing that. But, you know, Kenny, uh, KG, he was doing it with us too. Um, and we're just all there trying to set the standard, um, buying into the culture. And when you got some of your better players in there working hard and pushing each other, um, everybody else have no reason but to follow. You mentioned Devontae and AJ. Uh, since we spoke to you last, they both got new deals. Do you feel like there's this core in place for you now during your time here? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for them, happy for them, uh, much deserved. Um, like I said, being able to admire them for a fall, but actually being here, being in the building with those guys and seeing how they work, um, you know, they're just super talented on the field, but it match everything that they do uh, on the field with practice and in the weight room. So uh, shout out to them. Yeah, I'm excited to be here with them and 
Um, I'm excited to be here with this team. Uh, I feel like we do something special, but like I said, uh, that's ways, ways away. So just continue to come in one day at a time and try to get better. We'll do one more because we got Slay here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not anxious? Yeah. Uh, Will Shipley, when he got drafted, said he was a big fan. He wanted to learn as much as he could from you. When you, How do you approach something like that when someone says that about you? And then what, when you look around the running back room, you know what, what stands out to you about it? Oh uh, yeah, when uh, when Will, I, heard, I saw him say that, and funny, I'm a big fan of him. Uh, I follow all the backs. I try as much as I can in college. Uh, I see him hurdling over guys and making big plays at Clemson. Uh, so I'm excited to have him on his team. I feel like he can help us out. Uh, and for me, uh, you know, him picking my brain, you know, we're both kind of learning at the same time right now because, like I said, I'm in a new playbook and a new system. Uh, but to try to be you know, the, the t best team I can for him and uh, looking at the running back room, this is the first year, I think. I don't think last year I was. I think it's the first year I'm the oldest guy in the room. Uh, so, you know, that's definitely, you know, you know, funny to me. And I think uh, it's a beauty in it, too. You see how fast uh, your time goes in here. And when you're having fun with it, the time flies by. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Thanks. What's up? What's up? So what's been your primary focus on this all season? What have you been working on to help your game? I think the flesh isn't, isn't around. You know, is it, is it Man, I said, and the first day I heard it, you feel me? So, you know, there's a lot, but uh, I know Fletch is still going to stick around. He's going to come talk to us anytime we need some, or anytime, even if he's not here and I need to text him or call him, I know he's going to answer for me. Have you? What? Have you? Reached out? No, I haven't reached out yet. I reached out when all the news came out, but after that, uh, it's just been chill. What changes for you in the defense, in the locker room, now Fletcher did? You know, a lot changes. You know, our – our uh, group, I don't think there's anybody over 25 years old, so we're very young, but we still got a lot of veterans as BG, uh, Sweat. We still got those guys to really learn from and uh, move on with. Yeah. Well, I've always played a ton of snaps every year, and that, that will probably be you going forward. So how much of, I guess, your off-season focus and the team's focus for you, uh, how much of that has been on just conditioning? It's been a lot on conditioning. Really, I like to be more conditioned than working on technique because, you know, we got all year for technique stuff. Uh, working on technique every day and practice with our hands or working on pass rushing and stuff like that. But you really don't work on conditioning a lot. But conditioning was a lot of uh, – I did more conditioning than I did hand movement and stuff in the summer and stuff like that. How did you define your first year? What do, what do you think you can do better? My first year was okay. It wasn't how I wanted it to end. Yeah. A lot of stuff that I've seen on film was a lot of stuff I need to fix, but you know, it's okay. We're here now and I'm you know ready to be better than last year. How much more comfortable do you feel year two versus coming in as a rookie last year? Uh, I'm very uh, comfortable. You know, I was comfortable last year. I wasn't I didn't have too much pressure on my back, uh with especially with the guys we had Fletch and all them giving me a lot of confidence and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I'm still the same. I'm just here to get better. You uh you spent this time with Jay Lux in. What, what, what stick out to him about you? Well, I've been spending time with everybody. I really haven't had, like, one-on-one -on -one time, but we all been together a lot. It's just, if you can see, it's a lot of connections, especially we got White uh, from Tampa Bay and stuff like that, and it's just a lot of good connection out there right now. Do you have some individual goals for year two for yourself? Uh, I wouldn't say right now. You know, I'm just going with the flow right now, uh, trying to do my best day condition and stuff like that, but, you know, goals coming soon. What, what's it like with you and Jordan Davis? Like, do you guys now see yourselves as kind of like the leader in that defensive tackle room? Uh, I wouldn't say that. No, I would say a lot of people, you know, they look up to us or whatever. But I wouldn't say we're the leaders because we all young at the end of the day. You know, we all can learn from each other. It's some some things I learned from uh, Mo, and we're in the same class. And it's some things he learned from me, some things I still learn from J.D. You know, we all just working with each other to help each other better. You Nick Fangio um, spoke about the conditioning with Jordan Davis, and uh, we saw some pictures of him at the bike race looking pretty fit. <laughs> How has he been doing with his conditioning? Have you been working with him in this offseason with that? Uh, yeah, we do. Everything I see us doing here is what we do. You know, a lot of players do a lot of extra. So probably right now he might be still out there <laughs> doing extra while I'm over here talking to you guys. But, you know, a lot of, they, they do a lot of stuff off the scene and stuff that probably I don't see. So... But right now, I see, like, he's very conditioned. You went straight from the National Championship to a busy draft process in the season. Did you get a chance to catch your breath at all at the season? 
oh, no, nah, you know, football is my job. You know, I'm ready to play 24-7, you know, just like it was in college. After we won the Natty, we had school and then workouts next week. You know, I could do it all day long. What can you tell us about Clint Hurt uh, and how have you uh, established a relationship here early on? Uh, we Right now we're going good. You know, I met him uh, on my 30 visit when I went to the Seahawks when he was over there. And, you know, we had a little bond right there. But, uh, you know, now he's here and we all working together. We all looking good and got a good connection. When you talk about Vic Fangio being old school, uh, a lot of guys don't like that. They don't want to be pushed like, like he does. What is it about him that you like in regard to your game and, and your approach? Uh, I think it's just I'm all about old school football. Uh, if you know Apaka High School, where I'm from, the city of Apaka, you know, our culture was old school with everything we did with running stadiums and stuff like that. So it's always been old school, hard work. You know, I'm ready to be coached any kind of way, you know, old school, new school, whatever y'all want to call it. We'll do a couple more. We're getting Saquon in next. You said that last year didn't kind of go the way you'd hoped. Um, anything in particular that you want to improve on? Um, I know probably everything, but any one thing stand out? You know, it's just a lot of personal things I've seen in film for myself. And then as a team, you know, we we seen things we need to work on. You know, we talked about that as a team and just going to work on that as a team. I know you said you said you don't necessarily see yourself as the leader right now, but you still have a level of experience that a lot of these younger guys coming in don't have. What's the biggest piece of advice that you've learned from your rookie season that you can kind of tell these guys to guide them through this period right now? Uh, just to get them confidence. You know, I feel like that's what helped me start off the season how I did last year and, um, finish the season, but confidence was a, a big key detail in that. And right now, I know that they know my story and they know what I did last year and a little bit of what I did. And I know if I could just talk to them and get them confidence, yeah, get them confidence to go out there and play even better than what I did last year. All right. Thanks. Thank you. coming down. Thank you. How are everybody doing today? Oh, I'm good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Hey, what do you see your role with two young rookie corners, draft picks? Uh, what do you see your role in kind of teaching them how to be a pro, how to yep. adjust? That uh, that's the main thing, to teach them how to be a pro, man. You know, uh, I was talking to them today, just let them know, man, I'm always here for y'all boys, man. Anything y'all need from me, I got you. I'm here to get on the blueprint of everything uh, to help them sh make sure they, you know, succeed at this level. Uh, that's what I'm, that's my job to do. That's what I've always been brought up to do. Uh, definitely, because I've been, an old, I'm an older brother, all the, all the siblings, so... It's always been my kind of duty to like uh, lead in the example way and try to help them and um, make sure they get the right directions. We saw a video where Howie was, we saw a video where Howie was seemingly joking with Quinn Young about moving in with you. Yeah, yeah. all of them could, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I ain't here. I ain't on. I ain't here all the way yet to be uh, moving in. But he welcome, you know. So uh, anything he need from me, I told him I got him. So uh, after he got drafted, he hit me up. Uh, we talked for a little bit, and uh, I just told him, man, hey, whatever you need. Let's get it, man. I'm here to help you uh, be great. So, what are your, what are your early impressions of Clint Young? Oh, man, great. A lot of great things, man. Quick dude that's, uh, you know, got a quick twitch. Uh, I love his off man. You know, I'm a real good at off man, what I do. I uh, watched his tape in college for, for a good minute. Uh, yeah, you know, so uh, there's some things uh, that I'm going to help him with for sure that he asked me already to do, and uh, that's my duty to do. And uh, I'm looking forward to helping him because uh, I see a great talent in him. Looking forward to seeing him making a lot of plays in his uh, in his. Uh, a sports organization. How about Cooper? What stands out? Oh man, good man. He's very athletic, man. And you, as you can see, uh, guys that's versatile right now, man. He's he was everywhere, and um, you know, all both of them right now just quiet. So I'm trying to get him to talk a little bit. But uh, both of these guys very athletic, very, very talented, man. I'm looking forward to continue to keep working, man. This is my first day with them, and besides watching their film, but seeing them in live person is uh, is amazing to watch. And uh, I just remember my days from me being young. So these are optional. Are you the type who's uh, who's, who's watching these guys? Going into the draft? Yeah, uh, that's what I do because I, I don't know, man. I'm a real big dog. That's kind of like I work out with young kids a lot. So if you don't know, like um, Fonte used to work with me when I used to be in uh, Detroit, Sauce Gardner. Like I've been doing a lot of stuff with kids as a, since I've been the lead as just with DB. So I kind of watch a lot of them. And, um, and doing when they come out in college, I kind of watch them in the all season, just, just watching the top guys. And, um, and I like the all-day fam, you know, so uh, that's what I be doing, man. I be just bored, make sure, because some of these guys kind of, like, look up to me. They reach out to me and say, what's up, look at my fam, and I do it. What do you make of the competition in the cornerback room right now? You got, you got James, you, you got two yeah. young guys, and you got James, um, I mean, uh, Rogers, mm -hmm. Avante. Yeah, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. It's going to be a good competitive room, man. That's what we built for. This is what the job is for, to be competitive. But at the end of the day, I told the group, you know, 
we all here to compete. And, you know, and we all here to, here, to get, here to help everyone to get better. So it's not like, oh, somebody here better than that, hitting on, hating on each other, any kind of stuff like that. We all here for each other, man. And, and who the best man wins, just take it from whatever it is and take it to the next team you go to, man, because uh, we all here to help each other get better, not here to just, you know, terminate somebody, you know. And I told them all today, uh, we all family at the end of the day. The two previous defensive coordinators ran variants of the Vic Fangio scheme. Now that you have the actual original guy here, how much different is it with him and his new and his new scheme? Uh, I'm still learning it, so I ain't completely on the you know got it down pat yet because I'm still learning. And uh, you know, whenever it's time to like you know game plan and understand everything, right now we just build it in, building the defense in, just trying to make sure we get our identity first. And you know, and at that time we'll continue to keep getting better. Vic Fangio is admittedly an old school coach. Yeah. And I guess there was, you know, rumors and stuff that Miami, maybe some of the guys didn't take to that. How do you think that will, you know, go over with the locker room here? Oh, uh, it's going to be great, man. Uh, if you've been looking like it's just uh, – our team is built on, like, leadership and guys that's always willing to go out for the other guys. So, man, you know, I think he's a guy that's just go build a team up, uh, come in here with great energy. He's been a guy that's been in the room with a lot of great vets. And so, like, you got a team full of vets that's – been on a lot of coaches, and I think not one time, like, since I've been here as an Eagle, like, somebody had something bad and negative to say about a D.C. because we always, you know, go hard for them. It doesn't matter who it is because we want to win. So, uh, I don't know what that happened over there, but from my point of view over here, it's just, uh, you know, he's a great dude. Um, I've been hearing nothing but great things about him because I used to watch, like, Aqib Tlaib and all them guys and corners that played under his system, and they always talk, you know, highly on him. So, these OTAs are optional or uh, voluntary. What – you're a veteran. A lot of veterans kind of, you know. Yeah. Say it. again. The OTAs are voluntary, right. more or less. Some veterans across the league take take them off. But yeah. What, why is it important for you to come in here and be here? Uh, especially just because I really want to compete. Want the guys and young guys to see my face and uh and understand um uh, you know what 12 years look like and how I got to 12 years. But uh you know of course I'm a family man. I got kids. My daughter do a lot of stuff. She do sports. So I be want to make sure I'm there for that. But at the end of the day, you know I do got a job and and you know and I want to reach out to. Uh, to other people, man. So, uh, you know, I take care of my family first for sure, but uh, these two are my extended family too so as well. So I come here and make sure I uh, plant the seed and let these guys know I'm here too as well. So, uh, you know, I'm making sure I'm not just a call away from any time. From your perspective, when it comes to a young cornerback, what's from your perspective when it comes to a young cornerback, what's been the biggest challenge for them adjusting from college, from a college game to the pro game and how do you help them out? Uh, I just told them, man, just slow down and make sure you just do – your assignment, you know, because uh, you wouldn't be in the league if you couldn't compete. So uh, you could compete already. I just say, hey, man, just know, make sure you do your job. Know your assignment, know how you do it, know where you got to be out of that, and make sure you're on time for a lot of stuff. So that's the main thing is me when I learned as a rookie, I just made sure I knew my assignment because I knew my competitive edge would uh, kick in when it's time to really, like, you know, lock in. So right now I'll be telling them guys, hey, man, learn. Learn the defense. Understand what's going here, in and out. And then, you know, put your competitive edge to it because you would not be in the league if you couldn't compete. Well, you mentioned your 12, 12 years. You said you wanted to show them what 12 years looks like. Yeah. What does 12 years feel like? I mean, you managed to last year. How's, how's oh, man, I done got it cleaned out. So I'm feeling great. You know, uh, I honestly feel like I'm like 25 again, feeling good. Uh, I came a couple of times in OTA before we put seven on seven. Guys won the race. You know, guess who won? You know, the 33 year old guy. You know what I'm saying? I just let them know, like, the wheels are back. So yeah, y'all better be ready. How many how many more do you think you have left in you? Oh, not too many. Now nah. I ain't gonna just keep playing. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let these young guys eat, you know. So that's what I'm here for to make sure these guys get there. And when my time is up, it's up. You know, I'm ready to be a full time daddy and stuff like that. I mean, I got a daughter that's running track, ready to have my track hat on, and I'm trying to get into tennis too, so I could be like a tennis dad and all kind of great stuff. Uh, I mean, it's not, I ain't going to say it's like, you know, different, but you know, CJ, Chauncey is just Chauncey, you know, he going to be a guy that's with full of energy, he going to come out here and compete, play hard, uh, you know, so, I mean, y'all know Chauncey, he, he going to talk, so he, hey, it just, that's it, that's all of what it is, it's always going to be the same room, always going to be the same mentality, because I say one thing, the Eagles do a great job of keeping the foundation here. And, you know, so, like, guys that's been here for so long, so the room or the team do not go that way because it's guys that have been here that have been solid here for years. So uh, people are already just kind of, like, roll into the culture, and, you know, and they got to buy in. So uh, it's been great. You know, he always just, you know, Chauncey just, you know, he's been here before. He'd be an amazing. Have you been missing some of that personality last year? I wouldn't say they're missing it because, like, um, I don't know how to put it. Like, it's not like a missing thing, you know what I'm saying? It's just because 
you just go out there and just compete and play ball. Like, I don't see it as a, like a thing. I just say that he is always a great addition because the fact that he can play ball, he can make plays, he can do that. But, um, shoot, I'm a guy like, man, you get millions of dollars. You don't got no energy to go out here and play? How the hell are you? What, what you? what you doing here for? So I'm one of them guys. So it's not like a, I don't need too, too much motivation to go out here and go out here and go play because uh, – have you, have you been in touch with uh, Bradbury at all? I don't know if he's been here or not. But yeah, yeah, I talk to Bradbury all the time. Um, what, do you, what do you think his like mindset is? I mean, obviously. Ah, he he, good spirit, man. JB is year what going on year nine? Yeah, he JB good. You know, he made a lot of money. You know, played good and played all pro, pro bowl player. Uh, we don't have talks. He he good. He in good spirits. He uh he he his mindset the same way as mine is. Go out here, help these young guys get better, and uh, make sure we get them all the tools to be successful at what they do. With CJ, that playmaking ability, does that change things for a cornerback when you have somebody? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, he does change the style of you play because he's a guy that can be real rangy at the post. So, uh, you know, you know, uh, I've seen him make a lot of plays from coming out the post all the way to the other hash. And, you know, so uh, we're looking forward to that guy because he had versatility to it and he's a guy that could play in the box. So bringing him, making him addition is great because of the fact that, you know, he's, he's he can do it all, man. He's real rangy and got speed and got like, he brings some swag too. How bad, how, play, please, how bad were you really hurt last year? I know you didn't want to be. Oh, yeah, I was real bad. So, it was, uh, but, it was, you know, I was good. But, uh, you know, I was just trying to push through for the team, you know, being the captain that I am. I just wanted to be the best out there because I know I know 60% of me sometimes is better than a lot of folks. So, uh, I was just trying to do what's best for the team. Isaiah Rogers is a new face to the yeah. team as well. What have been your impressions of him, especially after a year away? From it's the been year? amazing, man. He's been a great addition. I've been seeing him making plays. I watched the film a couple of times. He's made a lot of PBUs, a lot of stuff. Uh, he's the next ones that want to race me because he thinks he's faster than me too. So we're gonna have to make that happen, you know. So I'm gonna have to race him. But other than that, been a good addition, been great, man. I watched his tape in um, in Indy, and you know uh, he was making plays there. You know, uh, great in special teams as a returner. So he got a lot of tools, man. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him um, in action and um, out here competing because he could do it all outside, inside, whatever he need to do. So uh, we got a lot of guys in this secondary this year can be very versatile. Tyler, hi. What do you feel like you are? Compared to this time last year coming in as a rookie? Um, really a lot farther just like mentally and physically. I think um, coming in, um, you really don't know what's going on. Everything's pretty fast. And I think just having a, like a year under the system, like working with Coach Stout, I think it's helped me out a lot. Where do you think you are in terms of like learning the guard position? Uh, yeah, a lot farther than I was last year. I mean, um, you know, last year I kind of had the transition. It was kind of new to me. I think oh, like just spending that year at guard, has given me like a lot of experience there and uh, just like allowed me to adapt, you know what I'm saying, and, and do stuff like that. So I think it's been pretty good. What was the hardest part of that? Spot as you were to lose? What? Are you viewing that starting spot as it's your job to lose? Well, I know I got to earn every day. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to be given anything. I got to prove that um, that uh, that I should uh, be able to play. So that's just kind of how I'm looking at it and uh, how I'll continue to look at it. What was the hardest part of being uh, guard transitioning from a tackle? I think just looking at it, like the angles, just as far as how you play is a little different. Um, you're working, you got two people next to you as far as is, instead of like a tackle where you're, you're on an island most of the time. So you kind of do like a lot of stuff by yourself. Whereas like a guard, you got to figure out who you're working with and um, how you're going to get to, you know, your ID or whatever it is. So I think there's different things like that. What's what has Statlin's best advice been to you so far? Um, Really just take it day by day. Um, really just um, try to get a better understanding of just like where he's coming from, like listen to the message. Um, and uh, just really the, the amount of time that it takes, you know, you just understand that he's going to take a little more time to um, just put in work to understand the schemes, understand what he's trying to say, understand what type of angles he wants you to take and uh, things like that. How's the process been working next to Cam Jordan? Uh, it's been really good. Um, Cam... Um, Cam's, Cam does a really good job of just helping not only me, but like everybody in the room. He's really like taking a step as like a vet and being able to, um, and he has a lot of knowledge, really smart dude. So I think uh, playing next to somebody like that is just going to naturally make you a smarter, better player. So, Tyler, what was your takeaway from that Dallas game? It was kind of your one chance to get on the field last year when you look back at it. Yeah, um, when I look back at it, um, I mean, Probably didn't play as well as I, I wanted to play. Um, and, uh, I mean, we won the game, so, you know, that was great. Um, but as far as, like, individually, I was kind of a little disappointed. And, um, you know, really just want to prove that I'm a better player than that. So that's kind of what I 
what I'm focused on. After the season was over, did you go straight into preparing yourself as guard, or did you kind of wait to see how the free agency and draft looked out the team? Um, really just – I was really just focused on getting, like, faster, stronger, just, just physically, just – being more prepared to play, like, NFL football. Like, that's kind of, like, what my main focus was, is being more conditioned, coming back. Coming back as a better player than I came in before how I left, so. What was your reaction when you walked into the locker room and you saw your, your locker there next to Wayne and next to Cam? Next to Cam? Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't think I had too much of a reaction, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, um, yeah, I mean. I didn't, I didn't think it meant like too much to me, to be honest with you. But yeah, it was cool, I guess. You do a couple more. We gotta clear this. You mentioned being further along physically this year. Yeah. How different are the physical requirements, whether it's you know size or anything? I guess uh, in terms of moving the interior. Um, uh, I think uh, at guard you got to be a little more like bigger, just wider, just a wider dude, because you're going against like bigger bodies and stuff like that. But um, I think just like in general, just being able to um, to be here, um, be with like an NFL like program, just and not have to worry about like the like the the draft training part of it. You know what I'm saying? The, the, like the draft process and really just get to focus on like training. I think that helps you out a lot. Just as far as uh, being pre more prepared. So. Is, it, is it easier focusing <clears throat> on one spot? Not to say you won't cross train again, but mm -hmm. uh, when you're going back and forth like you were in camp, playing tackle and guard. Um, I think it's just kind of the way that you kind of like compartmentalize it. I mean, um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's still like O line play. There's like different like intricacies to it and different techniques that you need to use. But um, I think if you're able to like compartmentalize, just kind of like what you're doing at guard and the differences between guard and tackle and the differences in how you need to play, then I think it's it's uh it's okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Tyler. Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. Can y'all feel that? Can you feel what's about to happen on this field, man? Can you feel what we about to get into? They don't respect us! They don't know what I heard, man! That thing is beating your doggone chest right now. Whatever you got today, I got to have it.